Good morning guys, welcome to today. It's dark and dreary and kind of cold out, but I love it. I have a little baby turkey with me here and he is freezing. He was really struggling when we put him in the big coop. Turkeys are weird, they are not very smart. Just because you show them where everything is, like the food and the water, doesn't mean that they're gonna be able to get to it. So we had him inside for a few days. <laughs> he doesn't wanna go. Get down there, it's okay, you got it. So we are going to put food and water by his bed. So this is the duck. <laughs> One of the ducks, remember they're called ducks, so they're miniature sized ducks. So he thinks it's a girl because her voice, she's noisy and she's not very raspy sounding. Boys are quiet and have like a deeper, raspier voice. So that little turkey, I have to catch him and put him underneath his bed. Show him where the food and the water is because he... Oh my God. Tulip. That's Tulip? I don't know. I call her right Do they both look like girls? These are the girls. And then we have a boy? Yeah. He's... You are really sweet as a baby. Come here. I want to hold you. Can you can you put him underneath the bed? So we need to show him where his bed is and then hopefully he'll be able to find that food and that water. Unfortunately, all the bigger ones are going to eat from there as well just because that's what happens in the wild. But hopefully he'll figure out where his food and oh, I think he's already going. No, that's a guinea. Oh. Anyway, we're going to let him go in the coop again. Last night, Sam and I hardly could sleep because he was crying for a friend. All night he was crying for a friend. We had him in there for two days. The first day he was a little bit more weak. He did really well. Last night he was doing so much better and he was crying for a friend. So we decided, whoa, it's so windy out, you guys. So we decided that we're going to put him back with his little crew. Do you see him? Is that him over there? Yeah. Looks yeah. like him. Let's, can you pick him up and show him where the food and the water is? Oh, he's seeing that water. Chickens are, are different. No, see, he didn't get it. Oh, now he's yay. going towards the food. <laughs> Chickens are different. They're like driven by some inner mechanics that make them go to the food and the water. Turkeys are so different than that. They just kind of wander around aimlessly, and if they find food, then they'll eat it. But then they walk away, and then they can't remember where it is again. So, oh my God. turkeys are a whole other journey. It's a guinea. So we're gonna put them back underneath there and hey, maybe we should put the food in the water right in front of that bed so that he, oh look, he's got it. He's got the food. I saw him, he's out this side here and he's got the food. Look, it's a turkey. It's a turkey. Why does he have a little, <laughs> a little dot there? Like a dog. I don't know. I don't know what that is, but I did notice it. He's got this little tiny bump on the top of his nose. Right here. Yesterday I was so super busy. I just got doing stuff with other family members and before I knew it, the day had disappeared. And then by nighttime, sometimes I find it difficult to start a daily vlog in the middle or of the day or in the nighttime, I kind of lose my focus. So yesterday we did a video and it's such a habit to me. I videoed, I did the uh, Yeah, video. so I'm gonna show you guys what Sam did yesterday. Right now while we go and do all of our Saturday shopping to get all of our food for our animals. Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today I am on the lawn tractor. On the lawn tractor. I have been seeding that lawn. I'm actually cutting it with the lawnmower and going over with the seeder at the same time. Not sure if that's any good, but you know, I got this handy dandy thing I picked up last year. It's a aerator. It aerates and there's the blades there. It aerates and it also uh, fertilizes and while well, I'm using it as a seeder. We're going to see if that works. We're going to see if that works. Um, I was told it worked. I could get a, I could borrow a friend's cedar for my tractor. It's like a big six, seven foot cedar though. But I'm gonna, I don't, I didn't buy that much seed. I only have one bag of seed right now. So I don't know how good that would do, but for this, I'm going to try this one. And if it doesn't work, 
then uh, we'll go buy extra bags and we'll reseed it with a, a drill seeder that my friend has. So I'm only doing this uh, field. I, I'm actually cutting it. I'm actually, uh, you can see where I cut it and leaving the seed behind. I don't know if you can see it, but you can see uh, there, there's seeds there. It's actually spreading pretty good. I went only around four times and already emptied the, the trough, so now I gotta fill it back up again. I'm leaving the corners, this corner way down there. You can see it, tall grass in the corner. I'm just leaving the corners for now, except for this corner, because it's all barren. And then I'm gonna head to this field. And I'm not gonna cut this field because the horses are on that field. So I'm just gonna just seed that field for today. If I have seed left, I'm gonna go, not where a storm is over there, but there's another field past that. I'm gonna go reseed that one. So it has a good month to, to grow before they, I think in July they'll be going in that field. So hopefully, hopefully in uh, August this will be grown. We'll have to show you what it looks like right now. So right now it just looks like that. I'll show you the before picture and hopefully we'll come back to that in a month or two and it'll be nice grass again. It's expected to rain today. And tomorrow, hopefully not tomorrow, because I'm going to go pick up hay, but that's the plan for today. Now plans for this field here. I thought it was too small to be an arena, but it's not bad for like a walk and a trot kind of thing. If, if Chino was here, this would definitely be too small because Chino liked to run long. I built a deck over here. See, it's all rocky and this is built on a hill. I want to maybe make a wraparound deck here. Wraparound deck. Some sitting chairs. And you can sit there and watch watch Sophie or Gabby ride. It is hay day. And it is actually shocking how much hay you can fit in the back of a pickup truck. Sam's been getting our hay at a different place because all the hay that's left at our regular place is looks like straw and our horses obviously are not going to eat that they don't like it so he sourced at another place which the hay is really good but it's not packaged it's just cut this year yeah it's just our cut, hay is not cut yet, so. our hay where we get our hay normally isn't cut they only have old stuff left so he is getting his hay at another place and it's great hay it's just not as as well put together right together, yeah this stringing is like our, my old baler was it's like my old baler the string isn't like tight yeah anyway the horses are loving that new hay the horses eat grass all day and then he gives them a little bit of hay in the in their stalls at night so my garden is getting lots of weeds so i'm going to come in here and try and weed it today but all my all my beans and peas are growing really well. There's peas on this side, beans on this side. I don't know what happened to the ones over here. I planted so many. I planted this whole row. And on this side, they didn't grow up. They didn't come up. And then up there, you can see I have some lettuce growing. Over here, I have a bunch of pumpkins and squashes. This is probably the worst garden that I've ever put together. But I'm still super excited about it. Today, I got a bunch of rhubarb. Whoops. Uh, today, I got a bunch of rhubarb. I feel like people don't appreciate rhubarb the way that we used to. It's so windy outside, you guys. So uh, today, I'm going to try and make some uh, rhubarb, strawberry rhubarb jam. It's one of my favorites. What is this? Stick? <laughs> no, Ellie, stop. It's rhubarb. Have you never tried rhubarb before? No. You poor neglected child. It's actually really yummy, and I'm going to use it to make strawberry rhubarb jam. I'm going to make jam. It's You add sugar to it, and it's yummy. It should go to the dogs. No. This looks really bad. So when I was little, my mom would give us a piece of it. She would, like, pick it, 
and then we'd all be like bothering her so she would give us a piece and a bowl of sugar and that you would dip it in the bowl of sugar and then you would take a bite you want to try it no. do you know what this is yeah rhubarb have you tried it yeah. did you like it no. no well i'm gonna make i'm gonna make strawberry rhubarb jam do you want to come strawberry picking with me I know, you're picky. Do you want to come strawberry picking though? You want to come strawberry picking? All right, see you guys in a bit. So there's my strawberries. They weren't super ripe, but, or very big, but whatever. I'm gonna make jam today. Before I can do any baking or cooking or anything fun, <laughs> I have to do chores. I need to feed my baby her bottle and we need to take the horses off the field. And then Sophie after. walked in here yesterday and there was a huge snake right in there. What's the yellow bucket for? Can't bring them in. There's Posey. Don't come up here, Posey. Lady's always the first one when she sees the bucket. She, and I noticed her and Willow have been hanging out. You gotta go down there and go, Zeki. All right. Everybody's excited. <laughs> here comes the baby. Sophie's giving them strawberries. Oh. I don't know if she likes it. Oh, she likes it. Come on, Pen. You want a strawberry too? Are you in heat? Is that why your tail's like that? Come on in, I'll give you one. I brought some for the goats. Why don't you have your mask on? Oh, nope, she did not like it. <laughs> she did not like that. Call her, keep calling her. Come on, you gotta come in. All the way in. <laughs> These two are standing in the gate so that I can't close it. <laughs> They're like, you can't trick me. I know what's happening here. Willow, like Willow likes everything? Yeah. So cute. All, right, we gotta get all three around her. All her horses surrounding her. I think Posey's too fat now to fit through the fences. But she still gets really excited to see me. I brought you a strawberry, Posey Pink. She's like, thanks, mama. Good girl, yeah. Oh, it's nap time. Everybody's, oh, you got the nice bed. Look, don't run away. Don't run away, I just brought you a treat. Look, you'll like it. Wild thing. Look, do you want one, Winston? No. Yesterday, our new little buckling got free. He got out of his field, but he was too big to feet squeeze through the fence to get into the girls field. So he got kind of trapped in the horse field all by himself. That made me really happy though, because you guys know we have struggled. Hey, you're standing on my strawberries. We have struggled with that. Oop. I have a goat on top of me. Blossom can smell the strawberries in my pocket. I should have gave them to them first. Ugh, she can tell that they're in my pocket. Oh my gosh. Goats are wild. Get out of my pocket. Help. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh my goodness. Are you done? Oh my goodness. Here you go. Do you want it? Sophie says strawberries are your favorite. Was Sophie right? Yep, Sophie was right. Yep, Lola says yes. Lola loves them. <laughs> Apparently strawberries are good for goats. Come here, Cricket. Cricket! Come here, Cricket! You want more? Now that we sold most of our other goats, Little Blossom, who is, was Sophie's, is Sophie's biggest love, is now one of the head honchos. And she's mean, you guys. It sucks. Don't let power get to you. Don't, honestly, like, don't let power get to you. It's just terrible. The biggest lesson I learned in the last couple of years, like, probably the last year and a half, the biggest lesson I learned was that everything happens exactly the way that it's meant to, and I always knew that, but something just clicked in me a year and a half ago, and now when things happen, I understand them differently. I think about them differently, so when... I don't get something that I really, really wanted. I don't get upset. I don't worry. I don't stress. If Sophie's not ready for the horse show, but she really wants to go in, and I really want her to go in, 
Um, I'm not gonna stress about it. I don't stress about very many things anymore because I know that what's meant to happen is always so much better. And even more than that, I know that God has a plan for everything. So if Sophie's not in this horse show, then she'll be in another and it'll be exactly the right time. And when you wait for God's timing, everything turns out so much better. So next time you don't get what you want or something doesn't turn out, just think about it this way. Think about that even though we think we want it, we don't know the big picture and God has a plan and things will work out no matter what. So don't stress you guys. That's the motto of my year. Don't stress. Right little baby? I've been loving this little goat. She was so tiny when we got her. She's still really short. She's filling in so quickly and moving to a new farm, especially when you're really tiny. Uh, it can be so stressful and it can make you get sick and it can make things not turn out very well for you but because i have all this goat milk she's thriving it's just like she's been with her mom this whole time she's getting all the nutrition that she needs to grow big and strong and healthy right and she is pretty darn cute <laughs> she's so cuddly you're such a cuddle bug look at her you're such a cuddle bug i just love her she's sophie's goat though even sophie loves her she cuddles her all the time. Somebody asked, how come Sophie's not feeding this baby? Sophie's putting in the horses. <laughs> so I'm feeding her. At, I feed her at lunch. Sophie puts in the horses. I think I got the better deal. <laughs> this is a lot easier than putting in the horses. But Sophie feeds her at night. I still want to work on my garden today. And I want to make my jam. But I'm starving. I haven't eaten yet today. It's 2 p.m. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go up there, have lunch, and then get back on the plan of getting stuff done. Strawberry rhubarb, you guys. This is jam at its best. I followed a recipe that said to put lemon zest and, and fresh squeezed lemon in it. Oh my gosh. It is to die for. just want to check and make sure that that little turkey is doing well. And I brought all the tops of the strawberries that I cut off for the chickens. All right, let's see. All right, now I can't tell where he is. Okay, so that's him right there. And he still seems like he's doing okay, but they emptied that water and they finished that food. So I wanted to be able to know where the water and the food is so I can make sure he stays okay. Okay, so I did a little bit of gardening. I just cleaned out my beans and my peas and my lettuce. This is still a mess. This is where my tomatoes are gonna go. Sam's dad is a master tomato grower, tomato plant grower, so we're getting our plants from him next weekend. They'll be big already and they'll just go right here and I'll dig it all out and they'll go in here. And you might not be able to see, but I have a bunch of pumpkin plants in here. So I just cleaned up around them. Don't you know that 